I just bought the cheapest gaming setup from Amazon. All right, so of course, the main part of the setup is of course the PC. And clearly this doesn't really look like a gaming PC, but trust me, the specs on it are really good. So if you're really trying to look at gaming PC prices on Amazon, there'll be like $120 gaming PCs that I tested in a video before, but they don't have a graphics card. So it's not even a gaming PC at all. It just has RGB lights and they market it as a gaming PC. So this PC, I'll just turn on the RGB for you guys real quick. You can see See that it will have oh wait I actually need to do this all right you guys can see that it actually does have a little bit of RGB so it makes it look a little bit gaming but the specs on this for $290 I bought it for a couple months ago are actually really good so inside of this PC we have a 1660 super which should be able to get around 200 FPS give or take in a Fortnite on low settings and we also have 16 gigabytes of RAM and a core i5 and I'll actually go inside the PC so I can see exactly which like generation core i5 it is is because that's kind of important. But yeah, this PC is definitely pretty good for the price. I mean, my first PC actually had a 1660 and I bought that in 2020 and it was like 1.2K. So for less than $300, that PC is pretty good now. All right, so this monitor is from Pixio and it's a 24 inch, 165 Hertz monitor. So it's definitely like pretty good. But the thing is, I actually found this exact monitor that was listed on Amazon. Instead of it being $150 on Amazon, I bought it two months ago on eBay for $90 only because they had a sale and now you can buy it on ebay for like 120 130 dollars so yeah it's on amazon but i was able to find a cheaper price of the exact same monitor on ebay so in case someone wants to save an extra like 20 or 30 dollars i want to check out ebay everything will be linked down below of course like usual just so you guys can like see everything that i'm actually talking about in the setup all right so this already comes with the monitor arm attached and then i need to get a screwdriver so i can put this like stand on all right so this is how the monitor looks and you can tell it's pretty small but it looks pretty good for for 24 inches and the bezels on the sides over here are actually really thin so yeah overall i actually also like the monitor stand too this monitor for 120 on ebay that you can buy it for right now is actually really nice and it's 165 hertz which is basically what this pc is able to get almost consistently on fortnite but of course we're going to test that if you guys are super busy and don't have enough time to make really good meals all the time i might have found the perfect solution it's called factor and they deliver fresh dietitian approved meals right to your door so you don't have to deal with any of the shopping or food prep stress. They have over 35 meals to choose from per week, including low calories, vegan, veggie, and much more, so you never get bored of the meals. And they also have over 55 different add-ons you can add weekly. You don't have to worry about rush dinners or just frantically set up lunches anymore because Factor have really good meals and they only take two minutes to set up. Factor also has a lot of different snack options for everyone because they have breakfast, smoothies, juices, different types of snacks, and just much more. Personally, for me, Factor has just been really helpful when I'm busy doing homework or recording videos and just need a quick snack. It's super easy to make it, and it also allows me to continue doing my work without almost any distractions. If you're interested, make sure to go to factor75.com, or you can also use the code up on the screen right now for a 50% discount code off your first Factor box. You can also check it out with the first link in the description or pinned comment. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. All right, and if you guys have seen probably any of my past videos, you definitely have seen this company called like Meiji or however you pronounce it, but they have super cheap mechanical gaming keyboards on Amazon. And this one's like a 70% one. So it's a little bit bigger than a 60% keyboard. Aesthetically, the keyboard actually looks pretty nice too. And I think these are blue clicky switches. Also one downside to this keyboard, if it's really important for you guys, I think these only have like kind of white RGB on them. They don't actually have like the kind of rainbow or like colorful RGB. It's just like kind of white light, but like still the keyboard performs really well. And I've like literally bought like probably five or six of their keyboards at this point because they're just pretty good for the price and they also give you a couple extra keycaps and whatever kind of keyboard thing you buy which is also pretty nice and of course a keycap puller all right next is the death adder mouse which is basically like a really basic or starter gaming mouse it's wired and i think it will say on the box how much this actually weighs let me see real quick i don't actually think it says the weight on the box i'll have my editor pop up the weight of the, like the razor death adder mouse but yeah this one feels maybe like 70 grams or something like that. And yeah, I, I think I already bought one of these in the past and it's just like a really nice gaming mouse. You have RGB, you also have your side buttons. So yeah, for $26, I think it was on Amazon, definitely a really good price. For me personally, it's not the exact shape I like for gaming mice, but it's still like pretty decent. Like I wouldn't really complain, especially if I was on a super like tight budget. I'm sure you guys have definitely seen Turtle Beach for consoles and I'm really curious like how this one actually sounds because this one is for 
Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So no matter what console or like platform you guys game on, it will probably be useful for you. So yeah, like I mentioned, this headset was $30. And just from the packaging, you can kind of tell that it's pretty like budget. But last time I had a Turtle Beach headset was like three or four years ago. So I'm really curious to see how like it compares since I've like tested a lot of headsets now. All right, so based on the feel, I'm not gonna lie. These feel definitely cheaper than other $25 headsets I've actually tried and they look really, really small. Yeah, this is how they look. I mean, kind of looks like a little bit like normal headsets, but yeah, definitely we'll have to try out the sound quality on these for sure. All right, and for the last part of this setup, of course, it's the mouse pad. I mean, you can really use any mouse pad you want. There are even mouse pads you can buy for like five bucks, but this one was $14, $15, I believe from Amazon. And it has a little bit of color and like a pretty nice design. So I'm assuming since it was budget, the print on this mouse pad isn't gonna be that nice, but let's just check it out real quick. All right, so this is how the mouse pad looks. It's kind of preference exactly what mouse pad you like, but honestly, it kind of doesn't feel as thin as I was expecting. I've definitely felt like thinner mouse pads. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but maybe like four millimeters, I think it is. And yeah, this honestly doesn't feel all that bad and extremely faded in person. Not as obviously not as good as like a $40 mouse pad, but this is definitely one of the better $15 mouse pads I've seen for sure. But yeah, let's just set up this entire gaming setup and see exactly how good it performs because it's definitely going to be getting a decent amount of FPS for sure. All right, so I just set up the monitor on 165 hertz and right now the PC is getting a low of 160 FPS actually and a high of 260 and this is on my zero delay map. So the FPS is definitely going to be like pretty good. Honestly, right first impressions, probably the least favorite part of this setup is the mouse. It feels really heavy and like I feel like I'm clicking and it's not registering. Like I feel like I'm trying to edit and it's just not working. The keyboard actually feels really good. I like the keyboard. I don't like this mouse at all. I would definitely spend a little bit more money and get like a glorious Model O. It's so much better than this. It's lighter. Personally, I like the shape a lot better. PC is actually really good though. And this monitor, colors on the monitor actually look really nice. All right, let's just go in game though because PC definitely doesn't seem to be like limiting us at all. It's probably the best part about this setup actually. All right, in game now, it definitely is free a little bit more we are still getting a high of 160 but you guys can see on camera it's dropping like pretty decent to like to 50 fps which is causing like a lot of stutters yeah look i just had a huge stutter right there come on this guy's literally 4 hp there we go. I think honestly, it's just gonna keep on stuttering this entire video. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna limit the FPS to like 140. I think that would help a lot. But why does this guy low-key seem sweaty, bro? Dude, it just froze. It just literally froze again. Like, what am I supposed to do? It literally just completely froze. This PC, if you stuck to like creative, would be like really, really good, to be honest. But in game, it definitely is lagging like a little bit too much for my liking. Oh, this guy literally got laser, bro. Oh, and he's in my face. One tap, easy. There should be someone right here. Yup, 72. All right, he looks decent. Oh my, dude, if I die because of this frame glitch again, I'm actually gonna be so annoyed. He's one HP and I get one tapped. All right, someone's like right over here. Yup, 60. Oh, definitely an AI. Yup, appreciate the mats, buddy. Oh, another bot. Wait, wait, wait. Definitely another AI, right? Yup. Okay, wait, we got a Peely here. He got the whip. He in the Ferrari? Oh my, my PC starts lagging like crazy, bro. Come on, bro. This Peely actually got to get out of that whip. Dude, it's just freezing so much. I actually can't. Dude, that kid is one HP. Oh, whoa, calm down. Oh wait, that's not a bot. That's an actual player. Come on, oh, third party. What the, oh my, calm down, bro. Dude, I got like so many people one HP and we got no kills. Oh, there's someone finally, bro. Why is he running, bro? What the, okay, bro. Or he's gonna try and get in my car, bro. I know that's what they always do. Yup. Dude, come on. Dude, come on. Why is this guy so annoying, bro? Yo, what the... Oh my gosh, I'm actually done. Oh, finally. This is exactly who I've been looking for. Now, this is the type of player I was talking about, bro. The edge camper, bro. Dude, look at this sweat, bro. Oh my, look at this nerd, dog. No, I just got clipped. Oh my god, I just got clipped, bro. I literally have nothing. GG, bud. GG, bro. 
GG dog. I'm actually finishing this video up really late, like right before I have to go to bed for school. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you drop a quick sub. And if you're already subbed, a like is also greatly, greatly appreciated. And of course, everything in this setup will be linked down below. And if you want to see more videos, YouTube recommends any of the two videos up on the screen right now. And also remember, Jesus loves you guys.